everyone, it's Look for Tech here. In today's video, we have the Huawei P40 Pro, um, and I made a video recently to um, get the Google Play Store on this phone, um, and I did. And the games worked, as you can see. I installed so many games, but later on, um, let me just push this a bit back. I found out that some apps like Gmail, Google Pay. Um, I think those were the main ones, didn't work, and those notifications were still sometimes coming, which I had to disable them, which temporarily fixed that problem, but it seemed like Google Play Protect was not enabled, even though it's so, first thing we did is we installed things that we need, which I did, and I put it on the SD card, so it's all ready, next we're gonna just click here so we could see the new thing is right now on here as you could see we move this to the USB drive root just like we did before okay we go again just like before we go to settings we go all the way down to system and update we go back up and restore data backup external storage usb storage we choose this one and restore we type the password which is already there which says for lando is that for lando yep for lando 234 and you click ok restore complete the app which is here Okay, so next we click on this, which we just installed, and we click activate and allow. And we click this blue button here, again this blue button here, again this blue button here. My files, this Google installation, and then we have to install all of them all the way until the Google services framework. So the settings again user accounts, add an account, and we go Google, we click OK, existing, and I will quickly enter my information, we're back, we did that, now for this stage, once you're here, apparently you can only add the Google accounts you want to add, now, so if you have any more Google accounts, you should be adding them now before we do the mod or whatever you want to call it. So if you have like more than one, five Google accounts, ten or whatever, you need to add them all here. Otherwise, you're gonna have to factory reset your phone or whatever, take it all back to do it all again, just to add more Google accounts. So if you have more Gmail accounts, remember Gmail, any Google Play accounts, anything, click Add Account and add another Google account and just do them now. So now you go out again and you go back to My Files and you continue to the Google installation, but this time you go to Google Services Framework. So you did it up to number six with the brackets it has it. Now you do number seven, which is done. So now you have to just go to settings and apps. So you go to apps, search for Google, Find Google Play Services and uninstall it. Go back to My Files and install the mod one. So now you go back to settings. After installing the mod, you go apps, apps, show system apps, Google, search for it. Search Find Google Services Framework, go to storage, click cache cache and data gets cleared as well so it's fine and uninstall it after clicking for stuff and uninstall and clicking uninstall your phone would be frozen apparently so you need to do a forced reboot by holding down the power button for about 10 seconds until it turns off basically we're back in now you're just going to go my files find the usb drive connected us 
find the Google installation and go back to Google Services Framework and install it again. So it's done. You just exit out now. And hopefully if we find Play Store here, you probably need to open it up. It's an error now. So what you have to do here, which is different to what I was doing, was you need to just click retry or just wait. Even if it takes 30 minutes, even if it takes one hour, it's worth it because you don't want to apparently restart it. Restarting could ruin this by giving the notifications that um, it's connected, but it's not an official one. So right now you just want to wait. You can close it. You could close everything really doesn't matter um, you can do everything just just be patient and wait until this loads so it didn't even take 10 minutes I just refresh it and it seems like we're in now so that's good this is very necessary yes you do need to do this step before you can continue you need to just wait do not restart your phone do not do any of that you need to just wait until Play Store reloads and loads up on its own once you do that just go to settings go all the way to apps apps search for google google play services you uninstall it files you're gonna go to usb drive the huawei google installation google installation so now for the final step, you just go and download 9, which is this one. So it's done, and that's it. So now you have Google Play Store running perfectly fine. Should be at least perfectly fine. We'll just go to Play Protect, and then we'll install Google Pay to see if Google Pay works. Okay, so Play Protect works. Does Gmail work? Does pay work? So for Google Mail, it works. It works. Great. So this method is the official method this is the method you should be using. now before i end this video i wanted to ask if anyone could subscribe but other than that i wanted to quickly go for a quick error that you might get so while you're waiting for google play store to load you know after it showed the error you might not have to wait 30 minutes i simply just did this you know what do you call it i opened it up i clicked this delete button to delete everything and i opened it up again and it started working so it could be that quick for you or it also could take 30 minutes for you now um, after doing this and google play store, store suddenly showing itself the next step would have been to go to my files usb drive you would have gone into and you would have done google installation here and you would have tried to install the ninth one after uninstalling google play services now after uninstalling Google Play services, now one of the errors I got is this suddenly became a passing error. So what I did was restarted the whole thing. So how I did that, I didn't do a factory reset. So if anything goes wrong, remember, all you have to do is simply go to apps, apps, even show system apps, search for Google. And one by one, uninstall them. Go to storage first, clear the data, then uninstall. That's all you have to do. You don't need to factory reset this. Remember, this phone doesn't come with Google pre-installed and we're not messing with root or anything to mess the phone up. So all you have to do is just clear the datas and uninstall each of these and then just restart the tutorial, do it again. It's fine, it won't take long. And once you get it working, you at least have Google Play working. So hopefully my video was useful, have a great day and goodbye.